Saint Bernard dog breed information. Originally, the Saint Bernard dog breed was used to patrol the grounds of Hospi Saint Bernard in Switzerland, as well as to assist in the recovery of missing and wounded travelers. In many homes around the world today, Saint Bernard enjoys the comforts of family life. They are affectionate with almost everyone they encounter, and those who don't mind a little drool will find them to be wonderful companions. Do you consider purchasing a Saint Bernard dog breed? In this video, you will learn everything about the breed based on 8 topics, so you can find out if this breed is best for you. Hey, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, send the request, and fill out your details. They will take care of the rest. Number 1. Origin Saint Bernard, like many other breeds such as Bernese Mountain Dog, Antlebutch Cattle Dog, a Penzel Cattle Dog, and Greater Swiss Mountain Dog, originated in Switzerland. They were most likely produced when Alp native dogs were crossed with Mastiff type dogs that accompanied the Roman army during the reign of Emperor Augustus. The Saint Bernard Pass is a well known and dangerous Alpine pass that lies approximately 8,000 feet above sea level and is only accessible between July and September. Today, relics of the Great Roman Road as well as traces of Napoleon's crossing can be seen. Number 2. Personality Saints are sweet and welcoming as befitting their heritage as host spice dogs. They have a calm, benevolent demeanor and are gentle and cautious around children. They like being petted but aren't as demanding as some other breeds. Because of their scale, it's important to start training saints at a young age when they're still manageable. They're intelligent and eager to please, but they can be stubborn at times. Unless they are protecting a family member, they should never be violent. When they're young, Saint Bernards, like all dogs, need early socialization, which includes exposure to a variety of people, sights, sounds and experiences. Socialization is essential for your Saint Bernard puppy to develop into a well-rounded dog. Number 3. Appearance There are two coat styles for Saint Bernards, short-haired and long-haired. The short-haired coat is thick and smooth. On the legs, the hair is slightly bushy and the tail has a long, thick hair that gets shorter towards the tip. Long-haired dogs have a slightly wavy coat that is neither curly nor shaggy. Although the forelegs are feathered, the thighs and tail are bushy. St. Bernard's come in a variety of red and white or white and red color combinations. From brindle patches with white marks to brownish yellowish, the red comes in a number of colors. The white can be found on the chest, around the neck called the collar around the nose, called the nose band, and on the feet and tail tip. Number 4. Trainability In his eagerness to greet people, an untrained saint will wreak havoc in your home and pull you down the sidewalk, so early training is necessary. Using a happy and calm approach, train your Saint Bernard, set ground rules, and be clear in your demands that he stick to them. While St. Bernards are naturally friendly, all puppies benefit from a puppy socialization class to teach them how to respond appropriately to other dogs and strangers. It will be well worth your time, effort and money to enroll your puppy in puppy kindergarten and obedience lessons as well as spend 10 to 15 minutes a day training at home. Breeders will suggest crate training as an effective method. It helps with house training, keeps your dog or puppy healthy and provides a safe haven for your Saint Bernard when he is feeling stressed or tired. A crate can never be used as a punishment but rather as a comfortable haven for your dog. The well-trained Saint Bernard makes an excellent family pet and can participate in a variety of enjoyable events such as confirmation showing, dog shows, obedience trials and card pulling. Number 5. Time Investment Clean your saint three times a week with a pin brush for long-haired coats 
or a rubber curry brush or a hound glove for short haired goats. Use a shedding blade to cut loose hair during shedding season. Spray a detangling solution on the mat and gently work it out with your fingertips or a comb if your saint develops mats behind the ears or on the thighs. St. Bernard's do not need regular bathing. If you have a big walk-in tub, it's safer to take a bath outside. If you live in a warm environment all year, winter baths should only be taken indoors. Dental hygiene, nail care and ear care are among the other grooming criteria. Brush your saint's teeth at least twice or three times a week to get rid of tartar and the bacteria that live inside them. Brushing your teeth on a regular basis is much easier if you want to stop gum disease and bad breath. Number 6. Best Home When it comes to girls, saints are, well, saintly. They are patient and compassionate, gently stepping around them and willing to put up with a lot. This isn't to suggest that they should be pressured to. Supervise interactions between young children and saints to ensure that no party pulls the other's ears or tails, kicks climb on, or knocks them over. Often teach children how to approach and touch dogs, and never approach a sleeping or an eating dog, or attempt to take the dog's food. Never leave a child alone with a dog, no matter how trustworthy or well-trained it is. Saints get along well with other animals, particularly if they are introduced to them when they are young. Keep an eye on them around small dogs and cats to make sure they don't step or lie on them. Number 7. Health Saints are relatively sound, although they are susceptible to some health issues, as are all breeds. While not all saints can contact any or all of these illnesses, it's good to be aware of them if you are thinking about getting one. Find a successful breeder who can show you health clearances for both your puppy's parents if you're buying a puppy. Health clearances demonstrate that a dog has been cleared for or screened for a particular disease. You should expect to see health clearances from the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals OFA, for hip dysplasia with a good or better score, elbow dysplasia, hypothyroidism and von Willebrand's disease in saints. Thrombopathia from Auburn University and normal eyes from the Canine Eye Registry Foundation SURF. The OFA website can be used to verify health clearances. OFFA.org Number 8. Cost A St. Bernard puppy would most likely cost between $550 to $2,000, with $1,000 being the average price. The first year's expenses will be around $3,655, and the second year will be around $2,225, or $185 a month. The estimated expense of raising St. Bernard is $21,455 over the course of a dog's life. Supplies, training costs, medical expenses, food and treats, grooming costs, licenses and a microchip are all included in the package. Medical expenses such as a spray slash neuter operation as well as other facilities such as dog walking, dog boarding and pet insurance can be provided as optional costs. With all of these extras, assuming you imply a dog walk of 5 days a week for 50 weeks and use a boarding service once a year, the overall cost of owning a St. Bernard could range from $48,214 to $104,790 with an average of $73,835. Did you like this video? If so, it would be great if you subscribe to our channel so you don't miss new videos and learn more about dogs every day. So, do you want to find your perfect puppy on Puppy Spot? Click on the first link in the description, choose your favorite puppy, fill out your details and send the request. Their comprehensive screening process goes above and beyond federal regulations and has helped them place more than 200,000 healthy puppies into happy homes. Thank you so much for watching.